Right, my turkey for the big day. I'm going to take the trussing band, that's the piece of string that goes round it off, pick it up and give it a real good shake. That's just going to loosen it up and give it a nice even cook. I'm going to take the neck out and then just at the front, you've got the giblets. I'm then going to take the front wishbone out. Either side, just running down, you've got the two little bones. So I'm just going to nick behind them, just cut all the way down, just to feel up, give it a little twist, take the wishbone out. That's going to give you an easier carve. Make up a little bit of the herb butter. We're going to put that up under the skin. And just smooth it out nice and evenly. For some stuffing, I'm going to put it in the neck end. So when you're carving it, you'll get a nice nugget of stuffing. I'm just going to fold that back, turn it over. I just tuck it under. Then I'm going to stuff the cavity with some aromatics, a bit of lemon and some herbs. Thyme, rosemary, a little bit of sage. So as that cooks, it develops steam. And that's going to cook it from the inside out. It's going to keep it nice and succulent. I'm going to pop it on the tray, cover it, place it on the bottom shelf of the fridge. On Christmas Eve, what I do is I get my roast potatoes ready, peel them, cut them up, and then just give them a little blanch, eight to nine minutes, depending on how big or small you've cut them, just until they just start to go soft. Put them into a colander, just give them a little bit of a shake around, so it just roughs them up. Let them cool, get a cling film over it, place them in the fridge so they're all ready to go. Sprouts, same again, I'll prep them all up, and I'll just give them a little bit of a blanch for three or four minutes, just until you can just get a knife in it, so they'll only take half the time to cook the next day. The carrots, peel, slice, and the parsnips, peel and slice them. Just get them ready to roast. If you haven't got the time to do all the prep, we've done it for you. So we do the sprouts, the chestnuts, we've got the goose fat potatoes, parsnips and carrots. We've also got turkey gravy, cranberry sauce, and the bread sauce. And even down to the uh, stuffing balls, already done for you in store. So on Christmas day, the first job is to take the turkey out of the fridge. So I'll just let that warm up to room temperature. I usually leave it a couple of hours. About three hours before I want to eat, I'll place the turkey in the oven. What I'll do is I'll roast this on the vegetable trivet, so that's the tops of the leeks, some onions, and some carrots on the bottom of the roasting tray. And sit the turkey on top of it. This will allow the heat to evenly go around the turkey and makes a great base for the gravy after. During cooking, I'll just give it a little baste. It just gives you a lovely, crispy, succulent skin. Once cooking time's over, what I'll do is I'll check the thickest part of the turkey, so that's just underneath the thigh just with a large skewer. Once the juice is run clear, we know it's cooked. So now to rest it, I usually give it between 45 minutes and an hour. The first 25 minutes, I'll put it on the plate, but I won't cover it with foil, because otherwise it will carry on cooking. Then I'll just loosely cover it and just keep it on one side. And that resting will give you a really succulent turkey. And now your turkey's out of the oven, you can use that hour to get the rest of the veg and potatoes ready for Christmas dinner. The potatoes, the carrots, and the roasted parsnips can all go in the oven at the same time. That keeps it nice and easy. To make our gravy, we're going to take our roasting tin that we've had the turkey and the vegetables in. We're going to add a little bit of plain flour to it over a heat, add some hot chicken stock to it, bring it together and then pass it through a sieve. This will give us a wonderful rich gravy to go with our dinner. Your water's on the boil, just place your sprouts in there. That'll only take three or four minutes. And there you have it. There's my guide to an easy, stress-free Christmas dinner. Hope you have a wonderful day.